Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Today, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the Great Father and Son Quarrel Arc. It's the chapter where Hanma Yujiro tried to use the terrifying technique of his father Hanma Yuichiro. Do you think Baki will be able to withstand this legendary technique? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. And for my Oliva and Yujiro tier patron for this month. Shout out to you, Stranger Dragons Prevail, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, and Francisco Carrillo. With all that done, let's now begin. The chapter starts outside a certain hotel. Hanma Yujiro is saying. Me. And my father are two completely different people. We are the extreme opposites of each other. Our outlook on life. How to live our life. And even the techniques we use. Baki then thinks. Defeating the states, unknown by everyone. Is that really how it ended? A man completely different from Hanma Yujiro. Who isn't as selfish? Who lives life a lot more thorough. And. I am eager to learn what kind of moves he used. The ogre continued. It was just like that old man. Using one and only one move. But even I have to reluctantly admit it. It is really one damn strong technique worth boasting about. The United States of America was proud of its huge battleship called Iowa. But in the end, it only took a technique used by a single person. That night, the crew at the very first glance of it decided to escape as fast as possible without hesitation. All from one technique. As it were, it was that one move that defeated the USA. The Prime Minister then shouted. That is, is that true? Would you just shut up and be quiet? All of a sudden, the strongest being swept Baki in the leg. Then he grabbed him near the foot. He then said. The Marines went ahead and called this technique. Dress. Without any hesitation, Hanma Yujiro swings Baki in the air like a nunchucks. He continued. But the thing is, the real name got lost in translation. Its real name is Guys. Now, let me show you again everyone watching. I wanted to learn what moves he used. But don't you think this is overdoing it a bit? The human nunchucks. Which side is up? And which side is down? Unable to fully comprehend what he is observing. Everything he sees, in an instant, becomes something he saw. It was as if everything was replaced by an ultra high speed video. Everything became the past as soon as he saw it. It was as if everything was nothing more than a memory. This was the first time he experienced centrifugal force. All of his blood started to collect in his head. In his nose. Mouth. Ears. Eyes. All the places that had a hole worked as a way for the blood to come out. The ground. The sky. The people. Everything he saw was red. Even his father. Red. The reason for this was because a large amount of blood flowed into his eyeballs. There is a saying for this in the airline industry. A so-called red out. And that is why even the sky was painted red. All of a sudden, there was a huge disturbance in the crowd. They realized it at their first glance. The unruliness of the situation. And the degree of risk that came along with it. It was as if someone was doing a hammer throw in a very small room. Everybody that was within a 100 meter radius of the father and son had left, and the area seemed to have become completely empty. Takugawa then said. Seems he also had to run away. I get it. This is what emptied the Iowa. But the strength that is created by using a nonchuck still hasn't been shown. Then we see Hanma Yujiro swinging Baki in the air repeatedly. Takugawa then said. I see before and after, up and down, left and right. It's like it is covering Yujiro. Baki became semi-transparent, and as he covered Yujiro, he really looked like a dress. It's kind of similar to the move I used on Baki in our fight. But it's clear to everyone that there is a difference in the strength used. This is as if Baki is nothing more than a bath towel. 
although it's not very different. I probably couldn't do that. To be able to handle something as light as a towel. And not only that, to be able to manipulate to the point it can be used as a weapon. You must be an expert in weaponry. Weapons. That's right. A nonchucks isn't just an instrument. It is a weapon. Its real power lies. In what comes after this. Yujiro then said. Baki. Are you listening? Can you hear me? Are my words reaching you? Put your guard up. It's here. Make sure to protect yourself. Baki. You claim to be a real Hanma. Show me. How strong your guard really is. Do not die. Then Hanma Yujiro slammed Baki in the nearby vehicle. The crowd then questioned. What was that noise? It sounded like metal clashing. Could it be a car accident? It sounded like it came from the father and son battle. Maybe something happened. Perhaps the fight is settled. Let's go back. Let's hurry up. It was the father who struck the car. The car made a half turn. I see. The name of the weapon that is used by him was his own son, Baki. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Hanma Baki will be able to survive this beating? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujaber, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Sean. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the comeback of Han Mabaki in his fight with the strongest being alive. Stay tuned.